rook cross e7 okay he thought uh, if the rook is gone if he captures with this maybe i can take with this but uh, yeah even if he captures with the pawn the pawn is attacking on this so no use of capturing this so d cross e7 or rook e8 saving the rook bishop b2 so what happens the bishop is gone for free uh, he has now one extra piece white has one extra piece no need to do anything special King g6, queen c3, the threat is this, queen g7, and then maybe queen f7. Okay, everything is good. Uh, he would attack, he would attack on this. Anyway, uh, after queen c3, queen d5. So give support to this. And uh, queen f6 now, okay, no need to go to g7, f6 is also available, so he said, okay, this is better. King h5, saving the king, and uh, goes back, queen c3, okay, now this is interesting. What else could you play? Knight cross f4 was a very good move actually, here, yeah, white missed that. How? g cross f4, and then g4 check. Okay, f cross g3. Okay, because if you take with this bishop cross, then a rook e5 is coming. So it's not good for you. And that's why after bishop, I mean uh, g4 check uh, g, f cross g3 and then h cross g3. And if you see now what is the threat, uh, f3 and g3, I mean g4, that's the threat. And it's very dangerous. Uh, so I'm almost like unstoppable now. Okay, all the white pieces are looking very good. The king, the black king is very uh, badly placed. And it's like uh, checkmate is coming. Look, okay, uh, eight moves. It's about to be a checkmate. So uh, this is how it can happen from here. If you would play something like, you know, knight cross f4. So that was a good one. But here, that didn't happen. After queen f6 check, King h5, yeah, here queen c3 again, okay, because he was thinking and he didn't find this sacrifice here, okay, sometimes it happens because of the clock, the time, uh, you don't want to play this kind of, you know, uncertain or not so easy to calculate variation because sometimes if you just miss one more, uh, you don't want to uh, lose or, you know, uh, make a draw of this kind of winning game where you are winning clearly. So, sometimes you just say, okay, I'll play little inferior variation than the best one, one which you think, because it's not compulsory to win the game, you know, uh, by playing great moves. Even if you play good moves and win, but uh, without any risk, then it's enough. Or sometimes, most of the time, it's actually better. There's no need to take risk. You can play win the games easily is better. So he thought, okay, queen c3 and now he's thinking. So here, bishop e4, f3, there were attacks on g2, so white saved it. But now this diagonal is open, so he has to be careful. Uh, bishop f5 attacking the knight, knight f2 saving it. He made space for this knight, that's why also f3 was important. Now queen cross a2, so black is trying to get some points and uh, making, I mean, you know, this, these two pawns now uh, are fast pawns, but it's too late. He already has given a piece extra, which is a too much price. h3, and then what is the idea? Stopping g4 and uh, yeah, preparing to attack, maybe made space for the king as well. After that, queen f7. Uh, trying to attack on this number one. Number two, uh, he plays this queen f7 to defend the king. So this queen shouldn't come over here easily. Queen f6 or a g7. Knight g4. So slowly, steadily is getting his pieces on the right places. And yes, as per the plan, black captured this. So rook cross e7. White says, okay, no problem. Rook cross e7. Queen cross e7. And uh, queen e5. So white is saying, I just wants to exchange you now. Okay, even if I have one extra point, I know how to win. So here, uh, black is happy to exchange because he was worried about the attack. 
So Queen cross e5, uh, instead of bishop, he captures with the knight, knight cross e5, and then bishop e6. So now black is now thinking about this, you know, these two pawns, how to make the queen of these, at least one of them. So bishop c3 stopping this a5. Uh, bishop b3. And then bishop b4. Now completely stop this. And you say, okay, no problem now. King h4, uh, moving the king on better square, maybe. Uh, maybe he's thinking of, you know, moving the uh, h5, g4 and do something. It's not easy, but still, yeah. But actually, not a good idea because uh, you're moving somewhere where afterwards you have less squares to move. Okay, yeah, of course, from here you had only one, from here at least two squares are there, but these are dangerous squares. Okay, afterwards, you know, you should have waited for this knight to move and then go back. King g6, that was a better one. Here now it's a little risky. You're coming towards the opponent's side. So not very uh, easy. King, I mean, after king h4, here oh, white played this bishop f8, very, I mean, a little slightly dubious move. King f1 was better. That's what, you know, king f1. But uh, bishop f8 was played. So let's see what happened. King h5 now. Made attack, so gave support. And then knight g4 gave one more attack. White wants to get that pawn free. Now bishop e6. The idea is to take with the bishop. I'll take the knight. And if you take this, I'll take the bishop. So now he has to take with the knight. Whatever he wants to take, take with the knight. Now king g6. So he got the chance to get the king out. Uh, knight g4, a5. Yeah, this was this is the idea. The pawns are like away from this side. Uh, bishop e7. Uh, I don't know exactly why is he like you know playing with the bishop because now he should think about how to stop these pawns for that the knight should move ahead on the other side. He moved the bishop, not so good. Anyway, uh, king f5. And then king f1, okay, knight f2 was also there. a4, so now the pawn is going fast, but you need support, so it's not easy. Once the bishop is there, can't do that. King e1, yeah, now he is going that side. Uh, bishop c4, okay, uh, black is thinking that, okay, if the opponent goes on this side, I would play on this side, I would attack on these pawns. So, that's the plan. Knight f2. Bishop d5 now. See, what was the threat? I'll tell you. The threat was, after this, the threat was this. Knight e4 and then knight cross this. So, he's going that side. And that's why black played this to stop this knight e4. King d2. And then b5, yeah. So slowly, steadily, uh, black is trying to make queen on the other side. King c3, and white is saying now everything is under control, no problem at all. Uh, bishop c4, okay, now everything is giving support to each other on this side, queen side, so no problem. Knight d3, bishop f7, knight b2, attacking. King g6. See, the king has to stay here to save this uh, weak pawn. G6, uh, g5 pawn. Very bad. King b4. Okay, now the idea is to capture this. So, what to do? Uh, bishop e8 was one of the move, but then what was the problem? He had not played that. He played king h5. Now, instead, what if you would capture? I mean, what if you would uh, give support? Bishop here. Then knight d1 and then knight c3 and then capture this. That's the plan. Uh, but here what happened? Let's see. Uh, king b4, king h5, bishop c5. Sorry. Uh, okay, uh, bishop c5, fine. King h4, bishop f2 check. So not allowing the king to come inside. Huh? This is very important. Don't allow. 
Once the king comes here, then you have problem. So king has to go back. And then king draws b5, finally captured. Then a3, giving some threats. So knight d3, now it's looking like pawn is reaching, reaching. a2, but now bishop d4, very important. You have to stop that pawn. And he did that. Now king h4, now this king is saying, okay, now you cannot move the bishop on f2. So I will go here, king g3, king cross g2, and king cross h3 and f3. And once these pawns are gone, then it's not easy for you to win the game. So after this, what did he play? Bishop f2 again. So king h5, again bishop d4, again king h4. Now finally, knight d1 giving support. So king g3, so finally allowed black king to come ahead near this pawn. Now king b4, bishop g8, waiting move, king c5. See what is the idea? He's not after this pawn now. The king is going on the other side. See like this. Okay. Uh, bishop b3, king d6, bishop c4, king e5, Bishop b5, king f6, sorry, f6, king f6, okay, because normally when the opponent has light square bishop, he should move on the dark square, don't allow him any check, unnecessary check, king h4, giving support, so that's why the king couldn't do anything on this side, so he kept it, okay, he didn't allow this king to go this side, he didn't allow to capture this pawn, now the king has to go back and here bishop f2 so more king h5 again uh, bishop d4 stopping the pawn now uh, he didn't play this king h4 what was the problem here if you would play then king g6 could be played then there was a problem anyway what happened in the game let's see bishop a6 and then h4 interesting Okay, now king cross h4, king g6, king g3, king cross g5, then bishop f1 attacking this pawn. But it's not so good. Okay, what else could he play then instead of that? Bishop c4 was better, that's what you know. Uh, but bishop f1, and then king f5, bishop cross g2. Knight cross g2, king cross f3 now here. Huh? If, if you capture this, then king cross this f4, and uh, then it's winning for white. Okay, very easy. So he has not captured the knight, instead, he captured this king cross f3. So he allowed okay to um, white have this you not know, two pieces on the board. Knight cross f4. A1 queen, bishop cross A1, and then king D3. Now black is saying, okay, now you have to do checkmate with king, uh, bishop and knight with the king. So let's see if you know that. Bishop C3, uh, the idea is to control these two, the knight is controlling this. See, when you have dark square bishop, you have to drive this king to dark square okay either this side or the other side this side somehow but you cannot drive directly so what to do drive any side one side here or here and then from there you have to shift it like this or like this this is the main idea so king f3 okay he plays this and then bishop d2 so if you see the bishop is controlling b square uh, the knight is controlling, the king is controlling. So this side is gone now. Okay, only, yeah, and if you want to go there, what do you have to do? You have to go here. Okay, you want to go on this side, but that side is also controlled. So white has controlled quite well. Knight e6, see how is he playing? King f3, and then knight d4. Again, check, not allowing king e2. Uh, so king f2. He will try to stay on this side. He doesn't want to go this or this side. So king f2, king g4. 
Now bishop is controlling these, knight is controlling these, king is controlling these. So you can see these squares are taken. Now only this much. So uh, he has to just now move the king in this side. Okay. So understand what is the uh, strategy first. You drive to one side. Once he goes in one side, then from there you can easily shift to the other side, other corner. Like this is the corner which you want him to go, but uh, you cannot tell him directly, please go there. First, you have to shift him to one side, one corner. From that corner to the other corner, it's easier to drive. That's what he is doing now. So, King G2, he is not going in the side easily. He is try, trying to be in the center, towards the center, if not in the center. Now, Bishop E3. So, slowly, steadily, he is taking the important squares. Now, he can't go here. So, he has choices either here, here, or here. So, he said, I'll go in this side now, King H1, in this corner. After that, King F3. So he's saying, okay, I am controlling this. You either go this side or this side. Fine. King H2. Now uh, he's going on this side. So White says, okay, let me play now Bishop F2. Now King H1. See, he's not going himself on this side because we know this is a dangerous side. So he's trying to stay on the other side. Knight F5. So how to uh, drive him from this corner? See, this bishop cannot do that as it is on the wrong color. King cannot go near the king. So you can't force with the king. So the knight is the one which can control this. And that's why knight is going here. So understand. King h2. What to do? Uh, here, knight g3. Yeah. First, we have to control h, this one. So the opponent has to move the king on this side. Now, uh, you have a choice. Don't allow him to go here. So the best move was this actually, bishop g1, but he has not played that. He played bishop d4. So the opponent said, very good, I would go here. I wanted to go on that side only. Now bishop e3, king h3, finally he said, okay, I'll do that. So he should have played it one more move before. But anyway, uh, maybe sometimes, you know, they have some uh, like uh, time problem. So just to cover those moves. They play sometimes, you know, these kind of moves. Anyway, uh, King H4, now he has to go on that side. Now, the threat is to go away towards the center from this side. That's the idea. So, this is the square we have to control. This one is already controlled. This, these are controlled. If we go here, we have no issue. So, how to control this? 94. After this, King H5, okay, now he is now trying to run away towards center from here. See, this is the plan. What to do? Uh, see, King F4 was good actually, but uh, again, he played Bishop H2, King G6, uh, now King G4. Okay, now what is the situation? These are controlled, you can go here. So, he said very good, King F7, he is trying to go here. He's not going on this side huh? because this side is going towards this side. Because if he goes in the side, it's easier to drive to one side. If he is staying here, you are going uh, closer to this side. So understand if you are black, how to play? You have to go to the other side, not towards this side. So King F7, Knight C5 here. Okay, now this is important. Which square we have to control? Knight C5. Uh, king f6 and then bishop c7. So uh, these are controlled now. These squares are controlled. And now the king has only this much space. So again, he is uh, there, king g6, bishop d8. So these are controlled. He will go here or on this side. So he played king h6. If he goes here, then you go king f5. And if you go there, you can just simply move this on this side. Anyway, so here king h6. After that, knight e4. So king g6, knight d6. Checking the knight on better squares. King here again. Bishop e7. Slowly, steadily, is getting his pieces on better squares. 
bishop g5 controlling everything now king h7 king h5 king g7 bishop e7 so what happened controlled all the important squares okay he has now only four squares so this is how you have to control king h7 knight s5 see is now not even giving this square so now he has only these two moves king g8 and then king g6 so now these are controlled only two squares so king h8 and finally here the opponent resigned black resigned after playing this because now he understood the checkmate is about to happen in three moves so this is the position white to play mate in three how to do it let's see so you can just shift the bishop somewhere okay uh, this waiting move bishop c5 or bishop a3 anywhere on this side king g8 is the only move uh, he would play that and then you give this okay because uh, all the other squares are controlled so knight h6 check king has to go on this side king h8 and finally bishop b2 checkmate 